Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You're an old man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> have you ever had regrets about things? Sure. Well, we have a list of the biggest regrets in life that most people have, and we're going to share some of those with you on the very next Men Are So Smart. So, everyone has regrets. Or regrets. But you always imagine that those regrets <laughs> revolve around the mistakes that you think you made. Maybe you regret calling off your wedding. Maybe you wish you hadn't married the person you chose. Maybe you want to quit your job and move to Bali. <laughs> but you're worried it's the wrong choice. Probably is. So we focus so much on the decisions we make in the moment, but a new study published in the journal Emotion, Emotion indicates that the old adage still rings true. It's not the things you do in the life that you regret. It's the things you don't do. Exactamundo. In a paper entitled The Ideal Road Not Taken, Cornell psychologists identified three elements that make up a person's sense of self. Your actual self consists of qualities you believe you possess. Your ideal self is made up of the qualities you want to have. Your ought, O-U-G-H-T self, is the person you feel you should have been according to your obligations and your responsibilities. Yeah, in surveying the responses of hundreds of participants in six studies, Researchers found when uh, asked to name their single biggest regret in life, 76% of participants said it was not fulfilling their ideal self. Hmm. This indicates that we might have a flawed attitude toward how to avoid regret. We live in a world where we're told that we'll have a great life if we just simply follow the rules. So you figure that if you do all the things that society expects of you, act like a good citizen, get married at the appropriate time, make enough money to pay the bills, that you'll feel happy and fulfilled with your life. But those are all qualities associated with your ought self, which the study found people have limited regrets about, in part because they actually uh, act on decisions associated with it. But when it comes to your dreams and aspirations, people are more likely to let them just drift by unrealized, and that's what's really, it'll sting you later in life. Yeah, people are quicker to take steps to cope with failures to live up to their duties and responsibilities, uh, their op-related regrets, uh, than their failures to live up to their goals and aspirations, which is their ideal-related regrets. Uh, when we evaluate our lives, we think about whether we're heading toward our, our ideal selves, becoming the person we'd like to be, those are the regrets that are going to stick with you because they're what you look at through the windshield of life. Um, see, the ought regrets are potholes in the road. Those were problems, but now they're behind you. To be sure, there are certain failures to live up to, our ought selves that are extremely painful and can haunt a person forever. So many great works of fiction draw upon precisely that fact. But most people, uh, but for most people, those types of regrets are far outnumbered by the ways in which they fall short of their ideal selves. Okay, so let's talk about some regrets. And before we get to some of them mentioned in this article, let's talk about our own regrets. Do you want me to go first or do you wish to go first? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, years ago, I believe it was 1990. I was in Salt Lake City. I believe I told you this story, but I'll make it short. I was in Salt Lake City, and I was doing a morning radio show on a classic rock station. And I had an agent who was helping me get some side work doing commercials, TV commercials, and, and radio commercials as well. And uh, after being there for about 10 months, 11 months, almost a year, uh, and doing mornings, and, and doing pretty well, this radio station came to me. Oh, no, first of all. Uh, my agent called me one morning and she says, oh, I've got the perfect audition for you. I said, oh, well, what is it? She goes, it's for this new show. Uh, it's done in some markets across the country. 
it's like a good day Salt Lake City. Oh. I said, wow, that sounds great. She goes, yeah, the audition is this afternoon. I said, fine, I'll be there. I go to this audition. They paired me up with this beautiful blonde girl, and they had us audition together uh, and do like a, a, an opener or a monologue that we might do. It was so good. The chemistry was so right. They offered both of us the job on the spot. Wow. And, I, the, the, and the, the, the caveat was that I had to cut my hair because I had kind of a mullet going on. Nice. I think That's I'm going to show you a picture right here. Good look on you. Yeah, though. well, it was. Yeah. Uh, get that look with the bowl of soup. Had a little bit of a Mark Gastineau. Yes, it did. About you. Yes, it at did. That time, yeah. So they said, would you be willing to cut your hair? And I said, well, yeah, if the money was right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's always me right there, if the money's right. Mm. Well, they, I said to them, so when does the show start? And they said, well, we start shooting in two weeks on Monday morning at 6 a.m. I go, well, wait a minute. Ooh, clash. I got a radio show I do from 6 till 10 every day. And she goes, oh, well, we would need you to quit that. Mm. So a lot of things happen. But the point of the story is this. I turned down that TV role because it conflicted and because the radio station was paying for my apartment at the time. Oh, that's big. And so I turned down that role about three or four days after I turned it down. The radio station called me into the office and they said, we have the morning show that used to work at our opponent radio station across the street, they call it. Uh, their contract is expiring and we've just hired them to come on and do mornings. We'd like to move you to afternoons. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Regurt? Yeah, that's a regurt. Mm -hmm. How about you? So, I, you know what? I think I've lived a pretty blessed life, honestly. But one of my biggest regrets that I will never, ever forget is there used to be a store, uh, a place called Chevy Land. And they sold, I had a 69 Camaro, still have it. It's right over there, by the way. Uh, 69 Camaro that I was restoring. And they sold, uh, they were the line for everything Chevrolet. You needed a grill emblem or a headlight bezel or anything. You go to Chevy Land, boom, they go in the back, they pull it out, they sell it. One day I walked in there and up on their bulletin board was a 69 Camaro pace car. Oh yeah. A well, from white, the Indy 500. Yes, Indy 500 pace car. Donald Trump has one of those. White with orange stripes and a orange vinyl top and orange houndstooth interior. Very gaudy, but uh, so, so unique. very, very unique. Uh, 396, which is also uh, not common. 350s. It's got the big block. Most of them were 350s, but this one was a 396. It was all documented. It was all original. And it was selling for $14,000. Now, this is probably in about 1980, 79 or 80. $14,000 was mm, pretty a pretty fair penny, but now those cars are worth probably $80,000 roughly. Um, and it's the car I've always wanted. I had $14,000. But you didn't I pull the did trigger. I did not pull the trigger. And the guy at the store, his name was Marv. Marv was a good guy. He goes, that won't last long. If you're thinking about it, you need to do it. Uh, I did not. And I have not seen one. Every once in a while, you'll see one that's pretty original, but it's, you know, the interior is all sun faded and it's yeah, just a, yeah. they're, they're a hot mess. You, I don't like driving cars like that. I like them to look very original and, and restored for the most part. So, well, there you have two of our regrets in our life. Um, they say have no regrets. There are some regrets that, you just can't help but have. It's part of life. For instance, ending relationships with people that you loved. That's always so hard. Yeah. I have a friend who's going through a divorce at the age of about 59. And he never thought he'd be in that situation. Maybe it's your regret is not being more adventurous. Have you ever skydived? I know. I think I've told you there are only two kinds of skydivers. 
There are championship world-class skydivers, and then there's stuff on a rock. <laughs> it's pretty no, much it. It's not for me. <laughs> but adventures are nice, and we went. I, I got scuba certified. It is amazing, uh, and it's a little bit, a little bit overwhelming at first when you know you're swimming in the ocean with sharks and what have you. But it was, uh, it was fun. Well, another regret you might have in your life is trying to live up to your parents' expectations. Maybe they set those expectations a little too high. And nobody got time for that. And you're struggling your whole life to still attain those. Um, How about not eating healthier? Yeah. Um, I've tried to recently. I'm trying, my daughter gets married in a little less than a month, and I'm trying to drop about 15 pounds mm -hmm. in a month. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, people will tell you, you don't lose weight at the gym, you lose weight in the kitchen. Yeah. So that's my that's my goal right now. I'm trying to eat healthier and smaller portions, but more frequently. You got your Fitbit on? I it's charging up. Uh, yeah, so it's much. charging up right now. Some people regret not traveling more. Yeah. Um, you know, there are people that are born with the traveling bug in them, and and then and then you and they're gypsies. Yep. And then you got people like me that never want to go outside of the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another one is holding on to grudges too long. You know what? I'm a little bit guilty of this. I am too. Uh, if you've wronged me and yep. really, really wronged mm -hmm. me, you may never get back on my good side. Well, you know what? I'll tell you this. Um, I I have a friend who I'm very close with. And back in the 80s, um, he and I worked together. And um, we were getting to a point. I was married and my wife was pregnant. And my friend would constantly come over to our house, and let's just say he was a bad influence. Oh, yeah. A very bad influence. And uh, it was getting to the point where it was interfering with my being a good husband. And so I had to put my foot down and say, that's it. Uh, we can't be friends anymore. But here's the point, Ronnie. Years, years went by. We were not in touch. And then one day, we became in touch again. He he is married, he has kids, he's retired, uh, he was working for a school district, mm -hmm. and uh, it really just turned his life around, and now, honestly, I cannot be happier to have him back in my life. So, so people can change. You can change, yeah. You can. Uh, another regret people have is worrying about other people's opinions. Oh, uh, you mean Facebook? Yes, there yeah, you go. yeah, you know, and I... I do this a little bit, you know, if something is wrong, I've, man, I have a hard time just letting it go. You got to fix it? I got to fix it. But, and it's, you know, especially when somebody says something on Facebook that is so blatantly untrue, uh, I usually Google the correct story and then post it and they go, oh, fake news. Like, whatever. Yep. That's, Why you know did what? you do that? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um... What they found through research that we've seen in the past is that the life that you see your friends having via Facebook, it's only the best highlights of the things that they do. You don't see what goes on behind closed doors. Right. And everybody has trials and tribulations. So listen, if you have regrets in your life, <laughs> we'd like to hear from you in the comment section below. Uh, please feel free to Send us a line. We'll get back to you. We try to respond rather quickly as well uh, because we appreciate the fact that you watch yeah. this show. Men are so smart. That's going to do it for another episode. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we will see you on the next, the very next Men Are So Smart. Thank or you for you'll watching. regret it. You'll regret it. Yeah. You will.